Hi! In the second video in my playlist about uh, 10 most important rules for building financial models in Microsoft Excel, we will be speaking about incorporating assumptions into financial models. Let me remind that an assumption is any numeric value which we input into the model. It can live within a cell, for example, like this, when I just in, in, input it manually, or it can uh, be a value which I insert inside some formula. So, for example, I divide this by 5 and I get 2. In this case, 10 is an assumption, and this 5 is also considered an assumption. So there are two very important rules related to assumptions. The first one is that each assumption should be entered into the model only once. Let's see an example of applying this rule in practice. So here is a spreadsheet where I have a lot of assumptions which uh, drive all the calculations in this financial model. And uh, let's pick any assumption. For example, uh, for example, the tax rate. Where is it here? Is it the corporate income tax rate? I am absolutely sure that if I have this assumption here, this is the only place in my financial model where I input it, I can change it, and if I change it, the whole model gets recalculated. So if I change this 20% to 50%, I am sure that my calculations related to profits, related to cash flows, they are all being re recalculated. And it's very important that in the other spreadsheets, for example, in the, in the profit and loss statement, let's say, it is very important that, the, that I don't need to insert it somehow here. So everything related to corporate income tax is linked to this cell. The second rule related to working with assumptions, which I want to share today, is that formulas can only contain references to other cells. They can never contain hard-coded numbers directly within the formulas. Uh, here you can see an example of how you should never write formulas. You should never include numbers directly into formula. Instead of this, you should save this 0.2 into a separate cell, for example, B30, and reference it following this approach. If you do this, and if you insert values manually, first, you cannot satisfy this rule, which is each assumption should be entered into the model only once. And second, uh, if you come back to the model after a few years, you won't understand what do these 0.2 stand for. And if you give your model to another person, uh, she or he will not understand what do these 0.2 stand for as well. So it's very important that you never use numbers within formulas directly. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.